I've made a game in 7 days. I've also made a game in 3 days. So what better way to finish this trilogy than making a game in a singular day? It should be possible. I, I think. Well, I hope. I started by creating maps since, well, every single game needs a map and I guess you can kinda start to see what my idea for the game was. Some islands, an ocean, I mean what else could it be other than a pirate themed capture the flag game? During Hour 2 I finally finished the map and then started working on some weapons so that you can actually fight people. Uh, making this sword was a bit of a time waste since first I tried to modify the already existing Roblox sword system to not hit the enemy multiple times over but uh, for some reason, whoever coded this, they did this little thing called overcomplicating it. Sure, it might be better if it's overcomplicated, but it's harder for me to modify to my liking. So I made my own sword system. That would be a great time to beg for subscribers. Before I skip though, I just want to say that I currently have 300 subscribers, which is 30% of the way to my current goal of 1000. And at 1000 subscribers, I'm going to make a game that's probably not very ethical, but can also be pretty fun to make. Uh, there's nothing forcing you to subscribe. Although, do keep in mind that I have a fing. Since I planned on adding a day and night cycle, I decided to add a lantern for, well, obvious reasons. But as it has been proven time and time again, people just seem to not really like sword fighting. Well, they might like it, just not as much as shooting people. So the only next logical step would be to add some FREEDOM! Surely this won't come back to haunt me later. Let's be honest here, in every single multiplayer shooter game, there needs to be team recognition because, you know, having a fridge, a pigeon, and a wannabe MM2 TikToker fighting is just a little bit confusing because you don't really know what team a person is on. So I added characters, blue team and a red team. Potential similarities are purely coincidental. 100%. For sure. What does every single pirate game need? Boats. They need boats. These boats are not very pretty looking and maybe a little annoying to drive, but they can carry your entire team, and also, they work. And that is the only thing that matters right now. For most of Hour 5, I was doing the most important thing ever. So important that without it, I wouldn't be able to finish the game. Oh my gosh, Yetila, you finally implemented the flags, didn't you, mate? N no, I, I just ate noodles. But after finishing those noodles, I finally made the flag. It ain't much yet, but... It's a little bit of a start. Flags are now partially completed, and I really do hope that these flags won't come back to haunt me in the future. So you know how every single game ends? You know, some might call it a basic feature of a game. A feature that took me 6 hours to add. But yeah, ending the game is now possible. The game ends automatically after 3 captures. Now I needed some music for the game. And then, I thought of one of my favorite TF2 characters, Demo Man. What is the Demo Man? Or better yet, what nationality is Demo Man? Scottish. He, he's Scottish, so I just typed Scottish music <laughs> and, and picked one that I liked. Firing a gun without gunshots is very not cool. The same way how swinging a sword without slashes is also very not cool. So you know what I added? Sound effects. On the topic of firing a gun without gunshots not being very cool, I also decided to add some explosion, which I put together in 5 minutes, but there are no bullets being shot. Do you wanna know why? Because I don't know how to do that. It's that simple, and I know what you might say, yeah, you know, but you could have just googled it, which, fair enough, that, that's a good point. It just won't work with my gun system, and rewriting a gun system is... is... It takes a lot of time, and time is something I do have, but I'm just lazy. So I did this thing. This thing. This thing. Oh boy, this thing is so good. I slept. I just... I slept. Yeah. 
I added another island because I noticed that due to Roblox's maximum render distance not stretching all the way to 2048 studs, I decided to add these little islands to give people some sense of direction and where to go. And these islands also solved another problem for me. Let's say you're in the middle of the ocean. No boat, no nothing. What do you do? Probably swim back to land, but the nearest land is a thousand studs away from you, which would take you a minute to get to. Uh, that's boring, you don't want to do that. Well, these islands solve that problem, and I can also add these smaller boats to these islands which can only carry two people. So next up I decide to add the ability to break enemy team's boats, because well, anybody can really hide behind the flag and just not get shot, which isn't very cool. And also I might have made it a little bit too easy to break the entire boat, but I don't think it matters too much. And then I found a random bug, which is kind of funny, um, I mean, there's no real way to patch it since it's an issue with Roblox's water physics, but it's just a funny bug and I, I might have, uh, I might have exploited it a little bit while playing against my friends. So these islands were pretty cool and all, but these corners were just so empty, I mean, what if you got shot out from your boat here? What would you do? Well, swim one minute to reach land, which... Again, it's not very fun, so I decided to just add these tiny islands with one boat, which is the same boat as the middle-ish islands. You know what's cool about fighting games? Ragdolls. Ragdolls are amazing and funny. So I added ragdolls. Around this time was when I did my first official playtest with Zayalol, and we found some bugs and also got some ideas for quality of life changes, such as making these parts smaller so that you can jump through these windows a lot more easily. And another bug was that when you died, the flag just disappeared. Which in a capture the flag game where you have to, you know, only capture the flag really sucks because there's no real way for you to end the game. So I had to fix that one, which might have been painful and took way longer than it should. I finally fixed the flags, now they work properly and also you can shoot while you're hiding behind a wall. Uh, so, to fix this, I decided to limit the player's camera to be able to zoom out to only 10 studs, which is still a lot. So next up I decided to add a raycast check to make sure you aren't hiding behind a wall, and this actually worked pretty well. Another thing every single game needs is an icon and a thumbnail, so that's exactly what I did. But uh, I might have... I might have forgotten to set up my OBS so that you can actually see me making the thumbnail and icon. So the only thing you can see, um, so the only thing you can see is me just posing some characters and taking pictures. I finished the thumbnails and the icon. I also uploaded them. The icon turned out to be a bit dark, so I made it brighter, which just looks nicer. I did some final bug fixes, such as fixing the flags. Yeah, fixing the flags took a long time, but it was now finished. The entire game, done, in 24 hours. So in some hindsight, could have I done things better? Yeah, I mean, at the end I just kinda gave up and played some games, because, well, I already had the entire game done, so what was the point? But maybe if I put in more effort, this game could have been a lot better. However, I still think that this is a great game. It's not very polished, because, well, there's only much you can do in a day. Before this video ends, I think I should show you what I've been doing the past month.
comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my second channel where I... I just post, okay? And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!